And hello everyone, welcome back once again to NASCAR Heat 2 on the PlayStation 4. I'm your host, Naked Amos Kane, and we are running through the career mode. Uh, we have been running through the career mode, this is our second season. Uh, in the first season we ran with settings straight out of the box. Second season we have pumped all of our settings up one notch, so that we can uh, have a little bit more difficulty, have a little bit longer races, and so far it's been pretty good. I've been enjoying it. I've definitely been enjoying it. Next season is going to get a little crazy, because we're going to be going up to Legend difficulty, and I think we're going to go up to a 13% race. <sighs> That's going to be long. That's go Those are going to be... Uh... No, I didn't want to do that. Are you sure you'd like to just... Yes, I'd like to discard my changes. Tell me it went okay. Holy shit. But... <laughs> uh... It, it's it's going to be uh, where it's just going to be one race per episode, not like it is now where it's two races per episode. And of course, uh, for anyone that's been watching this, you know I don't edit these out. If anything crazy happens, it, it, something crazy happens. If you hear me say something or call for doing something stupid, it's just going to leave it in there. I, It's a sports game, you know? I mean, we're just running it as is. We're not really worried about it too much. But enough of that nonsense. Let's get into the race. The next race we got is the trucks at Kansas. So, the Toyota Tundra 250 at Kansas Speedway. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, for anyone else that does not know uh, how I do this, I use custom setups. Uh, that was one of the clickers that we clicked, and I said if we're going to use custom setups, that I need to find somebody that runs setup. Because I'm not a setup guy. I, I really am not. I don't really know too much about setups. I used to a long time ago. Nowadays, I can't be bothered with it. I got too much other stuff going on in my life. But I did find somebody that runs really good setups, and I constantly tell everybody that uh, if you're looking for good setups, this is the guy to go to. Uh, knee Pit Gaming on YouTube. K-N-E-E -E Pit Gaming. Uh, his setups so far have been rocking my world. Uh, not only does he do... The truck series, he also does the uh, Xfinity series, and he does a cup series, and he also explains the best ways to get around the track for those people that, you know, just need the help get around the track. And for whatever reason, his his setups work for me. They're, they're perfect for me. And I'm using a controller. I know that he has said uh, that he is using a steering wheel. And that's fine. You can race however you want to race. But I use my controller, and I'll tell you what, they are perfect for me. I have not had too much of a problem with them at all. I think the biggest problem I did have is, was it on uh, Bristol in the Xfinity cars? It felt a little squirrely. But other than that, I mean, I was able to uh, pull it in and figure out how to run with them. And they're fast. Oh, let me tell you that much right now. They're super fast. I, uh, if we can ever get out in clean air away from these assholes, man, these things just, they move. They absolutely move. So I am so glad, so, so glad that I was able to uh, find these whenever I did. And we're going to use them throughout the entire series, or throughout the entire uh, playthrough. And hopefully... It'll lead us to uh, some uh, some good things. Hopefully. Let me make sure I got these last ones here. Oh, uh, and he's got it down to 3.25. And that's the setup for Kansas and the trucks. At least according to Knee Pit Gaming. Like I said, I'm using his setups. And we shall see how good they are. And I always do a, uh, a couple practice laps. Just to kind of familiarize myself with the track. There are some YouTubers that will cut all this stuff out, but I don't... I think if I'm going to do, if I personally am going to do a sports game, I, I don't want to edit anything out. I just want to leave it all in there, you know? I mean, you can watch it if you want to watch it. If you don't want to watch it, skip ahead, you know? I just, that's that's my own personal preference, and some people like that, some people don't. You know, it is what it is. I, uh... I don't edit out my edit my uh, my Madden playthroughs, and believe it or not, some people actually will watch an entire two-hour game. So you know, it's it's pretty amazing what some people will and won't watch. 
this feels a little loose on the ass end. I got to tell you that right now. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm not lifting as much as I should be. I don't know. God, I'm fast. I just blew that guy away. <laughs> it feels so fast. It feels tight, too. It, it feels good. It's a little squirrely right here. So I'm saying maybe I need to lift a little bit more. I don't know. I'm just wondering if I should lift it all. I can tell you this much. I've already uh, set a record. <laughs> I've already set the record on this track. Let's see what happens if I don't lift. Oh, she's wandering. She's wandering. Ah. Uh, oh, she was climbing that track. All right, let's see what happens if I don't lift in the first turn. I th I'm going to have to lift. There's no way. There's no way I'm making this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn, you've got to be kidding me. That felt wrong. <laughs> well, you could see, too. You could see the truck was doing its uh, doing its little fishtail thing. Look at this. Or the, or the ass end of the truck, it's like catching, and then it's not catching, and it's catching. Wow. Man, okay, so I'm going to have to lift. I can't do that. It just feels like I'm going to lose control any second. But there you go. And, of course, I carry this I carry this through the qualify. I don't do qualifying setups. Uh, if I can't be fast in a race setup, then I can't be fast. Yes, I know that means that I'm usually starting in a bag of the pack. But, hey, that's all right. You know, it's just uh, more of a challenge, I guess. I don't know. If it gets to the point to where uh, I'm constantly starting in the back, then I will change that. But for right now, I'm not worried about it. Should I, should I just go this whole hog? Should I just keep the accelerator down? Oh, man. What if I wind up in the wall? Oh. I'm going to hit the wall anyways. <laughs> God, I'm drifting around the track. Uh, that was insane. I've got the lift at this track. There's no way. And that was lifting just a tiny, tiny bit. I've got a lift at this track. This is nuts. I could probably control it, but man, that's crazy. I got sixth. Whew. Wow. I should tell you something right there. My race setup qualifies me sixth. That's nuts. Oh, this is a night. I didn't even know they ran this track at night. That tells you how long I've been uh, I've been away from NASCAR. I, I know I've said it in the earlier episodes that I just there was a point where I just stopped watching NASCAR. The, the rules started getting silly, and you know the whole uh, the whole points thing and the whole playoffs thing and the whole chase for the cup thing. It just it drove me away. That's what it did. Go high, go high. Still a car out there. But I still like playing the games because I still like racing games, you know? Ooh, shit. Clear, clear. I got 12 laps, and I'm already starting to get around these guys. Look at this. Good drive, good drive off here. Look at this. Oh, in a wall. And first place. Unbelievable. And now it's just holding it. This is this is ridiculous. And of course, the uh, career settings that I have, it's only two times tire wear and fuel. So I am not going to have to worry about pitting. And I am not going to have to worry about uh, anything, really. I mean, we don't have caution flags on either because straight out of the box, you know, they didn't have caution flags turned on. I got black flags on, but that's it. Nothing else is turned on. So that's, you know, this is going to be cakewalk nonsense until next season whenever most of the settings, the real settings get turned on. Wow, look at this. This is nuts. Now, 
I wonder. I mean, I haven't done any multiplayer racing at all. And I really should. Knowing that these setups are this damn good, I really should go online and <laughs> check it out and see how good I am against everybody else. Because really, this is nuts. Plus, I used to love racing online uh, with uh, the other games. Uh, it started with NASCAR Thunder 2004, and then I moved into uh, NASCAR Sim Racing on the PC back in 2005. Love that. That was that was where I spent most of my time. Was there, and then even on the uh, the two games that were on the PlayStation 3 was a NASCAR 11, NASCAR 12. I think that's what they were. I don't even remember. I like that to a point. You know, there was still a lot of uh, NASCAR elitism going on. That was still fun, though. I like that. I like racing against, especially guys that aren't like complete idiots. You know, I've so I've been playing Gran Turismo Sport. Last night, I finally was able to uh, get to a point to where I could do some online racing, and there are some really good guys. You know, some really good racers that are doing amazing things with cars in Gran Turismo Sport. But uh, then, you know, there's just those knuckleheads that I, I swear they act like they've never played a racing game in their life. You know, they're they're going all over the tracks, they're hitting the walls, they're doing this, they're doing that. And I don't mind that so much um, <laughs> because those are the guys that usually wind up blowing right past uh, especially whenever you get that certain turn where you know they're just going to go off the track and go into a wall and go do something else. That's why I usually hang out in the back whenever I'm doing any kind of multiplayer racing. I will just, I will just let the wrecks happen. And if I get, you know, fifth place, fourth place, whatever, doesn't matter to me as long I I know that I was able to run through the idiots in the pack that you know will take themselves out of the race and I will be able to beat it. This is ridiculous. Look at this. How far ahead am I? Will it say five seconds ahead? Oh, God. You're kidding me. Five and a half seconds ahead. I could probably... I will probably be six seconds ahead by the end of this race. And everything is still good. Estimated fuel is 16 laps. Psh, shit. And that's his his tire wear is is almost perfect. I mean, his front tires are a little wonky, but and they always say, "Oh, that was nice. Good job." They always say that whenever uh, whenever you're looking at at the tire temperatures, you know, on the on the tires, if it if it, the tire temperatures is even throughout the entire, you know, on all three, uh, all three points of the tire, then you are, you know, your setup is perfect. And his back tires, look at that. That's amazing. His front tires are a little bit off, but, I mean, it's holding. I don't know. I don't, again, I don't really, I don't watch that stuff too much. I used to. Uh, again, back in the day... Back on uh, sim racing, uh, I used to be a setup geek, trying to make sure my setups are just damn perfect. But now it's—I don't. I mean, it's just a game, you know. It's just—I I just go out and find somebody's setup, and I will run the shit out of it. And you know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I just happen to get lucky and. Find one that absolutely works. Man, I keep hitting that wall. Might as well do something. I mean, there ain't nothing else going on here other than leading the race. Now, granted, this is a five-star truck. You know, we uh, we purposely got the five-star truck so that we uh, would get our, our ego boost. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, but this truck, it feels so good. These setups feel so good. It's amazing. And there you go. Job out there. There's your win. Unbelievable. 105 speed rating. I think it's 12 laps. Yep. 
Should be getting a trophy here eventually, I think. Isn't it like 50,000 speed rating that you get a trophy? I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah. 36,000 there and another 10,000 there for all that money that I can't spend. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you get it to the Cup Series. Do you actually get to buy a team? That'd be nice. Nice trophy. And of course, unfortunately, they fix the truck before you bring it into victory lane. I don't like that. I think it should be dirty, and I think it should be beat up. But hey, you know, whatever. It is what it is. All right. Okay. Had to have a little cough there. Been recording a lot today. What do we got? Oh, man, we only got one more race left, and we're not going to be able to get the top 15. Shit. So the next race is at Charlotte in the trucks. Okay. So I can't get a top 15 there, so I'm not going to get the incentive payout, unfortunately. But we're going to Charlotte. Now, here's the problem with this. Um... Knee Pit Gaming does not have a setup for Charlotte. Now, if there is another setup that does transfer over to Charlotte, then, you know, that would be great. But he doesn't have a specific video for Charlotte. So I'm thinking that we could probably just take the Kansas setup and just move it right over. Because I think Charlotte was the same. Isn't Charlotte just the same kind of track? I mean, it is, right? It's just that... Oh, no, it's Lowe's. Well, it's the same kind of track. So it'd be, like, basically the same as Atlanta, wouldn't it? Here, let me look it up. I know, give me a second here. It seems ridiculous that I'm taking a, a break to, to look this up. Let me look up... Uh, let me look up Atlanta. Because Atlanta and Lowe's were basically the same... Atlanta in the trucks. Let me just do this real quick. At least I hope they're the same. <laughs> they are. I mean, they're that kind of cookie cutter kind of thing. Watch this be completely wrong. Uh, and like, I would be totally screwing myself over here. And honestly... After watching a couple other guys, and I'm not going to mention any names, even though I'm sure that if any of them ever watched this, they would probably say, Who are you blasting me for, man? I'm not blasting anybody. I'm really not. I, there's just this general... Between a lot of YouTubers that I watch, there is a general... Especially gamers. There is a general sense of just not giving a fuck about their gaming anymore. I mean, there's guys that will get on here, and, and you know, sometimes I do it too. I, I admit, I am boring as fuck. I will absolutely admit that. But there are games that'll get on there, and they will be very monotone. They will talk like this. And then they won't say anything else. They'll say, oh, that's nice. Well, I figured that would be the way it would be. And that gets so boring. Oh my god, that gets so boring. Now, again, if there's people watching you, then hey, cool. You know, that's uh, more power to you. If that's what people want to watch, then maybe that's what I need to do. Shit, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I said I'm not worried about editing these videos. It's just a sports video, you know. I, you can edit them. You know, I'm, I'm, I can cut this down to... Uh, Holy shit, that's high. I can cut this down to a, you know, 15-minute video if people want. You know, if people are actually watching it, I'd totally do that. It doesn't matter to me. But in the end, you know, there's no real point to it. Because if some people are watching one guy do one thing, and if I'm doing something that I think is better than that guy's doing it, why should I change, you know? I must not be doing it better than some guy's doing it, because that's not... It's not selling, apparently. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. 
Oh shit. All right. I wonder if we even have to lift. Yes, we have to lift. Holy shit. And this track looks so different than it used to. Maybe it's just because it's not at night. I don't know. I swear they added an extra building over here. Again, I could be wrong. Man, this is bumpy as hell. <laughs> this is bumpy as hell. I wonder if it's the track that's bumpy as hell. Because I've, I've heard a couple of different guys say that uh, the bottom groove on this track is just, it's bumps. Just bumps after bumps after bumps. That it's better to run a higher line. So what was my last, my record time is 33. Shit, I just crushed that by a second. So I don't know, guys, you tell me. Do you think the setup works? <laughs> setup for Atlanta that I just pumped into Charlotte and it just works? Wow, that's a big ass screen, holy shit. And again, I don't, <clears throat> I don't mean to badmouth other YouTubers. Again, you've got, if you can somehow pull 3,000 subscribers and get, you know, 2,000 views per, oh my God, 31 seconds. I'm only getting faster. If you can somehow pull that many subscribers and then uh, wind up getting that many views per video, then more power to you, man. I, I congratulate you wholeheartedly. I wish I knew what your secret was. I really do. Because whatever you're doing, I'm not doing it. And there are some of these guys that have only been doing it for like two years. I've been doing this for uh, almost a year and a half now. And, uh, you know, I should be... I, you would think I'd be right up there with you, but maybe I'm not. I don't know. I blame my age. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Kids... Kids don't want to hear an old man talking about video games. Maybe I tell stories too much. Hell, I don't know. It's possible. Who knows? If anybody is watching this, let me know, man. Just let me know in the comments. Leave a comment. Shit. Tell me I suck. God, this truck just feels so good. This truck feels so good. It's so ridiculous. This whole game is so ridiculous that I am able to put those setups in and this is this is nuts and that only put me up to 11th I mean that wasn't that's not even the best we can do that should tell you something right there that's not even the best we can do wow now there's the lows I remember <laughs> at night with all the lights up shit I know it's definitely a lot brighter than a lot of the other games Man, what are we three wide here? All oh, these bumps are killing me. All oh, these bumps are killing me. Still a car out there. All clear. Oh shit! All clear. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Inside, still there. Okay, so the the apron here is. Sticky tack. All right, it's just like oh, Bristol. Oh. I wonder if that means that every uh, every apron on every track is like that. Because if it's usually usually if it's like that on two races, it's like that at every place. Oh my God! Almost crushed myself on a safer barrier. No, I could swear they didn't. They extend. The safer barrier on all the tracks where it's like covering the entire track. I thought that's what they did. Still a car out there. Where, you know, the uh, the outer wall is nothing but safer barrier. Now I thought that's what they did Still to every track. Hold your line. I could be wrong. Uh, again, it's been so long. I gotta watch out for safer barrier. Because I remember in the old games, before they put the safer barrier in, I used to, especially at this track. I would run that wall all the way clear, into clear. the turn and then dive into the turn. And then they put that saver barrier up and then I, I started like hitting the up. barrier. <laughs> so I had to I had to start changing my line because of it. 
And I think it used to be the same way with... Uh, oh, it wasn't Atlanta. Where was it? Oh, it was another one. Michigan, maybe? Uh, where I would... It was just right in the wall, you know? And you were... You were just that tiny little bit off the wall, and you could ride it all the way around. And, uh, yeah, you'd get right up on that turn. And as soon as it was time to get on that turn, you know, you'd let off the, let off the gas, and that would be your turn in point. They put the safer barriers in, man, and they killed it. They just ruined my line. Apparently now, in the trucks, the safer barrier is a lift point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Briscoe, it's just you and me. Is your Cooper Standard? Oh, man. Yeah, this outside line is amazing. Look at this. I'm going faster on the oh, highest right, line man. than he is going on the lowest oh, line. Man. Holy shit. It's like a speed bumps. Man, look at this. Yeah, I gotta get off that bottom line. That's ridiculous. Those bumps, those bumps kill somebody. Whew. There we go. Just another Wren. Wren? Just another win. And at this point, you know, I'm just hoping that we will get the championship so that we can move up to the cars. Because, you know, I think uh, if we get any hot seats in the trucks, once we get up into the cars, it's just going to be... You know, domination. I don't know, will they let you run two series at once, two full series at once? That's a good question. Of course, like I said, I haven't gotten to that point, so I don't I really have no idea. This is nuts. Well we got two laps left. Get off that bottom. I don't even know why I was doing that. I also remember in the old games, there used to be this great big dip in turn four of Lowe's. And it used to be the one that if you did not have your line set, if you did not have your setup right, if you did not have your speed just the right way, when you hit that dip, you were in the wall. It used to be right about here. And it's like you would hit that dip and it just everything just fucked up. Like the car just instantaneously you know, straight up into the wall. It's dumb. The dumbest thing ever. It was like the uh, the ramp at New Hampshire in uh, NASCAR, was it 2000, 2005, 2004, somewhere around there? New Hampshire had this like ramp that was right before you went into the pits there was like a little section where, you know, you could go in and out of. And it was right before the barrier. And if you hit it just right, your truck would literally lift up off the ground. Like it had hit like some kind of a speed bump or a ramp or something. That was nuts. All right, $54,000. Another $10,000. And we are in fourth place in the standings with three wins. <laughs> Uh, some rookie out of nowhere, second year running. <laughs> and the truck is not beat up at all. I, I still bitch about that. Unbelievable. Fastest lap. Most laps led. No, really? Okay, he must have got, I must have got four of them. Uh, on the move, of course. 11th to 1st. It's good enough for me. <laughs> And that should be it, though. I mean, that should be, uh, we did our two races. You have momentum. All right. That just means we're going to be that much faster. <laughs> because, because momentum. Totally. You did not complete all the incentive contract goals. Better luck with the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ben Rhodes, what do you got to say to us? Hey, you've been doing really well out there. Your whole team's on fire. Keep it up. I'm trying, buddy. I'm really trying. Ben Rhodes, dude, you need to... You're stalking me, buddy. You need to quit giving me... Hey, you've been doing really well out there. Keep it up. Wait, that's the same exact thing you just said. I told you he's stalking me. I think Ben Rhodes wants my ass or something. Pervert. 
Christopher Bell, uh, your stats are starting to look pretty good with those five lifetime wins. Keep them coming. Uh, hashtag up and coming. Hashtag it's just a game. All right. Anything else? Anybody else got to say anything at all? Where are we going to next? Oh, it's an Xfinity. What is it? We could use your help driving the number 97 car at Charlotte. We just did this this Saturday. Get a top 25 finish. We might consider working with you in the future. Okay. Obica Racing? Obica Racing. Never heard of them. Well, we cannot take this right now. We're going to have to uh, wait. Hisense 4K TV 300. What kind of sponsor is that? Hisense? I haven't ever even heard of them. It's like the first time I heard of uh, Vizio. You know, the, the Walmart brand Vizio, which I was like, what the fuck is a Vizio? Then I bought my Vizio, and I'm like, God, this TV is so great. Hisense. I don't think I've ever heard of a Hisense. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, thanks for coming around and checking us out. This has been NASCAR Heat 2 on the PlayStation 4. I have been Nicodemus Kane, and we are going to continue running through the career mode. Uh, I think we're going to continue running through the career mode all the way up to that 200th win. Yes, you heard that correctly. I was thinking about that the other day. They actually have a trophy in this game for 200 lifetime wins. And I'm like, you know what? We could just keep this series going until we hit number 200. And then once I get that trophy, I'll be happy. I mean, it's going to take a while. You know, it's... I think we've only got five right now. Uh, 200. I even if we did two two laps per... Or if we did two races per episode, that would be 100 episodes. If I'm doing... If I'm doing two episodes per week that's 50 weeks that's a year that's a year's worth of episodes now if we're going to keep pumping up the you know pumping up the difficulty and the length of race like we do that's going to go to one episode per and that's going to be 200 episodes think about that 200 episodes at two episodes per that's 100 weeks that's two years Oy vey. I don't know. We shall see how I decide to do it. But I'm I'm thinking that uh, the 200 career wins has to make it, or it has to happen. I may wind up doing a season, like, you know, off camera to help pump up the wins. I don't know. Let's, let's look at the stats anyways. Where are the stats? Are these just career stats? These are just career stats. Five wins. All right. Top five in an Infinity Series, and that top five was because I accidentally hit the uh, the apron at uh, Bristol. I could have gotten a win in that race. It sucks. All right. So, anyways, there you guys go. Thank you very much for watching again. Uh, NASCAR Heat Two. I'm Nick Dames Kane. Like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. And until next time, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Watch your fuel and keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. Later.